my name is Karen Ellery Jones and I'm here in Capabilities Thrift Shop in Barnstable with Maggie Tice. And Maggie, thank you so much. I have passed this building several times and I'm absolutely thrilled that I got to come in and I think you're going to see me at, uh, uh, <laughs> as a regular customer. We would be delighted. A lot of people pass the building. Um, it used to be a bank. It kind of still looks like a bank. When they get in, they find out it is no longer a bank. And I think they're pretty excited once they get in the door. Okay, so tell me a little bit ab about the um, thrift shop here. I know that it started in 2009. It did. It's been a couple of years. Mm -hmm. This is our third, we're going into our third season. We started out across the street um, in, a, in a barn. Moved here because there's more lighting, heat, air conditioning, much more conducive to what we wanted to do. Uh, we are run by capabilities. We are owned by capabilities. Every single uh, penny that we make here supports capabilities. So anything we make stays on the Cape, benefits people with disabilities on the Cape. Right, so capabilities um, has other programs as well, like the, the, the big farm that they they have, right. as well as the thrift shop and other things. Um, and I know that I'll be in interviewing more people in the capabilities program, and I'm delighted to do this. Um, so with this thrift shop, and I know that you were reluctant to call it a thrift shop, because when you kind of call things thrift shop, people may get a wrong impression of what it is. I can tell you, and I can tell the guests in the audience, it doesn't smell. It is beautiful in here, because sometimes that's off-putting. It is, and I, I loved your reaction when you came in, <laughs> and you said, this is a thrift shop. Yeah. Um, it's actually thrift and consignment. Um, what we do is we take things, obviously we take donations, we take things on consignment, and then we prep them, display them, and sell them. And again, the money goes to capabilities, so it's one of their entrepreneurial projects. Um, okay, so when people want to donate or consign items, they would call you up and make an appointment. Can they bring things in? How does that work? Mm -hmm. You can, uh, if you're donating things, obviously you can drop them off at any time. If for any reason we can't use them, we do find another home for them with another nonprofit on the Cape to the extent that we can. Uh, if you would like to donate a large amount of things, we'll be happy to come to your house, look at the things, uh, make arrangements to have them transported. Again, if you're consigning, we can come to the house as well, uh, talk to you about the value of the things and how you want to proceed. So we're here. We're um, open to doing almost anything that people would like us to do to bring quality things to the store. Okay, so if there's someone at home who has a couple of large pieces but and would like to donate them or consign them, you will provide transportation for the items or do, do the, the, the homeowners have to do that? No, in some cases the homeowners are glad to do it if the items are too big for them and they're donating them, we're happy to pick them up. Okay. If they're consigning, um, we usually ask either that they cover a small portion of the moving cost or donate one item. Okay. In other words, if you're consigning a bunch of items and you can donate one to us, that would cover the cost of transporting them. That would be a great thing, too. All right, so we've, we've got lots of beautiful merchandise in here. Um, and I know that you told me that it, it moves. It's quite fluid. So if people are coming and browsing and they see a particular item, they should buy it because, it, as someone says, it changes every week. It does. Sometimes it almost changes daily, and we've had people almost having fights over things in here. I saw it first. No, you saw it first. Oh. Um, it does. It moves. Uh, people will eyeball something one day, think they're going to come back the next day to get it, and it's usually gone. And it's gone. Yeah. Which is a good thing. It is then a good thing. we make for something else. It is a good uh, thing. So tell me kind of what things you're looking for, or, or what things make the most money for you. Uh, the store has kind of taken on its own personality. We didn't, we started actually, we had clothing. We found out that took up much too much room, was mm -hmm. very labor intensive. Uh, and that thought, can be smelly. Well, you're right, yes. you're absolutely right. Um, and then we thought, well, let's figure out what we can do well and just concentrate on that. And furniture and home accessories seems to be the things mm -hmm. that this store, um, I don't know why, it, it calls for it. You know, people, uh, donate a large amount of furniture, comes in, out the door, quality home accessories people are always looking for. Um, we have a lot of people with cottages, summer homes, artwork goes quickly, um, things like that. Glassware, I imagine, goes fairly quickly Glassware as well. does. Um, 
the things that don't go quickly, which might be contrary to what you and I would think, are China, uh, your grandmother's China. Okay. Uh, things like that do not sell very well. Why do you think well. that? Is it? I think the market has just changed. Antique stores have said the same thing. People are not looking for that kind of thing right now in this economy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you are open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? We have been open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all winter. Right okay. now, starting tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to be open every day except Sunday and Monday. Okay. From 10 to 4. So, yeah, starting tomorrow, that will be our summer hours uh, and take us through till Thanksgiving probably with those hours. Okay. Um, you obviously need a lot of people to help run this organization. I know that you wanted to, to highlight your volunteers who are instrumental in this, in this program. Um, what about people who are interested in volunteering before we get on to, to um, chatting with the volunteers here? There's a, we, we always welcome volunteers. The organization does as a whole, too, if you don't find a place for yourself here. There's the farm out in Dennis. There's what we call headquarters in Hyannis. There are many opportunities for volunteering. And in the shop as well, um, it's not necessarily standing behind the cash register. There's a lot of cleaning. Um, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes that we count on volunteers to do. Um, I would say there's five or six different jobs for volunteers here, and we welcome them. They're a huge part of this organization. OK. Uh, before we wrap up, tell me what um what you do with the money, I know it goes into into the capabilities program, but how does running a thrift shop benefit capabilities and the residents who use those services? It goes directly into, uh, into the budget of capabilities and they support adults with disabilities in residential facilities, in shared living, educationally, uh, transporting them to work and back, um, you name it. If you can think of a way that adults with disabilities need to be helped, Capabilities is right there doing it, and this is the money that goes um, to all of those things. Not specifically to any one part. Okay, but, but into the general into budget. Into the general budget, okay. yeah, and it does a tremendous amount. And I think the shop, too, brings an awareness to people that Capabilities does exist on the Cape. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have heard the name. They don't really know what we do. Uh, so I think the shop serves a great function for that. Once you come in and talk to us about capabilities, uh, I think we make a lot of friends for capabilities just based on the fact that the shop is here. Mm -hmm. All right, super. Maggie, thank you so much. And you're definitely going to be seeing me here. This is absolutely lovely. And to all the folks who are watching this program, you have to come in here. They have absolutely wonderful things. And if you see it, buy it. And if you have some great items at home, give them a call because if you can donate to them, you also get a tax deduction. And I know everyone's looking for tax deductions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Well, I'm here talking with two of the wonderful volunteers. And as we know, volunteers are absolutely crucial to any nonprofit organization. Kathy and Sue, welcome and thank you for stopping by Glad and sitting in and, and chatting. Um, why did you guys get involved with capabilities? Big question. Um, I was a special educator for 34 years before I retired here to the Cape. Um, so natural inclination toward an agency like Capabilities, but an interest in doing something different than direct care with children or adults. And um, ran into Maggie um, painting the floor of our first workshop. Um, and uh, we clicked and she talked about what was happening and I was on board. So it was pretty easy for me to make that choice. And how long have you been volunteering? Uh, since we opened oh, okay. in 2009. So 2009. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Sue? I started shortly thereafter. I probably came in to look at things. I lived right around the corner, and I saw the shop, and I liked it. And um, perhaps it had something to do with my, my daughter um, worked with special needs kids in school when she was in high school and then went on to work with capabilities. And as a matter of fact, the other day she was home, and I said to her, I was talking about the job, and she said, Mom, you've carried on what I've been doing. And I never really thought of it that way, right. but, but I think that gave me my, my original interest in, in, in doing this. Right. And I, the wonderful people you work with here, too. Right. It, you get that feeling in this place that um, it's a, a nice place to work, nice nice place to, to shop. Um, so what do you get out of volunteering mm -hmm. here? Because it, when you volunteer at a place, mm -hmm. you, you offer your services, but you get so much in return. Mm -hmm. so I always say to my husband, 
um, you know, you get up in the morning and you're racing to get out of the house, and I always come home with a smile on my face. And uh, through the um, summertime, Sue and I work together. You meet the most wonderful people in this shop. They come in, they make you smile, um, they're pleasant, um, they're thrilled to learn what this agency stands for and where their dollars are going, and we have the opportunity to do that. It's a great group of women that run this, um, and so there's a twofold benefit, both helping and enjoying the people you work with. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, I could say the same. And sometimes you wake up in the morning, you think, "Oh, I'm going to some place, and I'm going to become committed for a few hours." But it always just goes by very quickly, and because it's fun. Because just what Kathy's saying, you meet, you meet wonderful people come in, you get their stories. A lot have uh, uh, their own connections with capabilities. Mm -hmm. And that's how they heard about it. Um, it's just, and it's sometimes it tends to be a little bit of an expensive volunteer job because well, I you have know what, Sue? I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, is your house? Can you point one room? And say, one room. Yeah. Yes, I, I got it. All at different times, and nothing came in together. But I, and you just you wait, and you know you give people a chance to buy things, of course. But you that sometimes, must be hard, but sometimes <laughs> things will sit there, and they and they they fit in your own home. Right. Mm -hmm. and do you have a lot of items? Uh, sprinkled throughout, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And for my children, my son and his wife were here Easter weekend, and um, I had seen something. They came down the shop on Saturday. They said, yep, I loaded it in the car and took it. So everybody benefits. Right. Mm -hmm. A customer had a wonderful suggestion to me. She comes in here and she buys like a, a, a nice plate, a china plate, and, mm -hmm. and she'll bring um, if she's bringing um, 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 cookies to a house, she places them on that plate, and then she gives that plate as a gift to the hostess, and it's an inexpensive way to give a very nice gift to somebody. That is a wonderful mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. I, I like that idea because sometimes I would go to Home Goods and buy a plate, but exactly. in fact, you get a nice, really nicer quality. Mm -hmm. Right, no and Home Goods, but and also. It, it, your, your, your money goes to capability. So if you're looking for a housewarming gift mm, with cookies absolutely. or something, mm -hmm. buy it from here. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. I love mm -hmm. that. We get a lot of the families who come in, you know, first apartments for um, adult children right. moving out into the world. Um, so they're looking to pick up some nicer things. You know, they're post college, but, you know, maybe first apartments and first jobs. So they're looking for some nicer things. Right. So I was struck here by, by how reasonable the prices are for some really nice pieces of furniture. Well, they want things to, we want mm -hmm. things to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We bring new things every week. There are, I don't know if Maggie had said this earlier, but there really isn't a lot of room in here to carry a lot of merchandise. So we right. need to so move you things. have to keep the prices Correct. reasonable so the, the um, mm -hmm. products will move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once people have been here at least once, they're back. Right. So um, they kind of know, you know. Oh, they start to know when the new merchandise comes in. And um, Are they breathing over your shoulders? Uh, on, the, on that day, <laughs> they're here looking at, at the new merchandise. Yeah, eagerly. It's fun. Yeah. You know, if, if you're a collector or if you're looking for a particular chair, you want to be here and see if maybe this is the week we have it. Right. You know, well, I was also hunt. struck by all the, the you know, silver plating is, mm -hmm. is polished so nicely. And everything is merchandised beautifully. Thank you. We do that. Yeah. <laughs> and kudos, <laughs> kudos, kudos to one of our staff member, too, who is just um, dynamite artistically in terms of setting up this shop. And she works once a week when the new... Uh, merchandise comes in to get it all in place to make it pleasing and I think that's a comment we hear so frequently from new people that mm -hmm. come in they'll walk in and they'll go oh my god this is a consignment shop right. they're shocked you know it does look like a more typical furniture store right and and uh, Maggie had said one of your volunteers makes those beautiful um, price tags yep. that have the, the calligraphy, calligraphy on mm -hmm. them and they're just beautiful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. Well, thank you, ladies, and thank you for having thank me in your shop today. It's just wonderful, and I know that you're going to be seeing a lot of me. That was the hope. <laughs> You'll be back to shop. I will be back. Right. Yes. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.